Hello, welcome to another video. We will be converting a repeating decimal into a fraction using geometric series strategy, okay? And I think this is the safest way for you to convert a repeating decimal into a fraction. Now, this is not the kind of stuff you would guess. Okay, it's almost impossible for you to guess what this number is until you find the sum of the geometric series that we're gonna generate just by looking at it. So what is the first thing you wanna do in converting a repeating decimal into a fraction? You wanna identify what part of the decimal is repeating because as you can see, this one is not repeating, the zero is not repeating, this is not repeating, is the three repeating? I think so, because it goes from 3, 5, 3, 5. So it appears that 3, 5 is what's repeating, okay? There are two digits consistently repeating. So we could rewrite this expression or this number this way. Look at how I'm going to write it. I'm going to write it as 10.13535 dot 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 can be written as 10.1, I'm just gonna write 3.5 with a bar, telling me that I have identified the part of the number or of the decimal that's repeating. Once this is done, the next thing for you to do is to write this as a sum. That's step number two. Number one, identify what part is repeating. Number two, write it as a sum. What does that mean? We're gonna say that 10.1, 3, 5 repeating can be written as 10.1 plus 0. Point 0. See, this starts from the second decimal place and takes the third decimal place. I'm going to write it this way, 3, 5 repeating. So this part is not repeating. This is a fraction on its own. See, we can write this actually. 10.1 can be written as 101 divided by 10 plus 0 0.035 repeating. So this is the work that we've got to do. We need to know what this is gonna be as a fraction. It is not 35 over 100, so don't do it. It's not 35 over 1,000, that would be wrong. This is 0 0.353535535. It keeps going on forever and ever, and that's why it's a geometric series. Now let's see what that geometric series is gonna be. Okay, so I fixed it, 0 0.035. Now, the next thing you wanna do is to write this as a sum, and watch what this is gonna look like. This is, you write the first repeating part, which is, 0 0.035 plus. Now I have written the first three digits of the decimal. I'm going to write the next two, which is 0 0.00035. You see? So I've added this to this. So now I'm stopping here. I'm going to take the next two, which is going to require how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five and then six, seven digits, so five zeros. So it's gonna be plus 0 0.00000035 plus. And this just keeps going on like that, okay? Now, you don't need to write so many, you just need two, but I just wrote the third one so you can see the picture. Now, how do we write this as a fraction? This is easy to write because we don't have the bar on top of it anymore. So this is gonna be equal to 35 over 1000. Plus, this is 35 over, this is 10,000. Plus, this is 35 over, this is, um, What's that? How many zeros? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten million. Ten million. Okay, so that's what we have plus, and we just keep going like that. Now, remember, whatever we get here at the end, we're gonna add to this guy. So it's gonna replace this, and we get our answer. Okay, so now here, what's going on? It looks like we're starting with 35 over 1,000, 
and then we're dividing by 100. You can see the number of zeros is increasing every time by um, 1,000. Is this 10,000? No, it's 100,000. No, 100,000, ladies and gentlemen, 100,000. So the zeros are increasing by, by two every time. So this is 1,000. This is 100,000, yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 100,000, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So every time you're dividing by, it looks like you're dividing by 100, okay? So let's write it in shorthand. Look, this is the same thing as 35 over 10 to the third plus 35 over 10 to the fifth plus 35 over 10 to the, what is that? To the seventh plus. You can now tell that the next will be nine. You can see how it's increasing. So here we have a geometric series. The first term is 35 over 1000. The common ratio is one over 100. And remember that if the common ratio of a geometric series is less than one, it will converge, right? The absolute value is less than one. So that's what we're going to have. So here we have a geometric series. The geometric series is such that the first term, a sub 1, is equal to 35 over 1,000. And the common ratio is 1 over 100. Now, if you don't know what the common ratio is, just take this term and divide it by this. You're going to get your answer. It's going to be 1 over 100. Okay, now, we're good. And because the absolute value of 1 over 100 is less than 1, this will converge. And what does it converge to for an infinite series? We have, if you keep adding all these terms together, you're going to get a sum, which we call the infinite series. Um, sum, okay? The sum of this infinite series is going to be equal to the first term divided by 1 minus r. That's the formula you need to know. This one is from algebra or whatever you, wherever you learned it, okay? So you know that any geometric series will add up to this. And what does this give you? This gives us, in this case, what is our a sub 1? That's 35 over 1,000 divided by 1 minus 1 over 100. 1 minus 1 over 100. Okay, so we can say the sum. Remember, all of these is what you have as this. So 0 0.035 is equal to this sum to infinity, which is equal to 35 over 1,000, 35 over 1,000, times, if you flip this, it's going to be 100 over 99. So your answer is 35 over 990. That is the, that's the value of this part. So our mission is to add what we just got to this number. You know what? I'm going to bring this number here. So we're going to say this is equal to 101 over 10 plus what is that? 35 over 990. Mm, nice. You see, I can make this 992 by multiplying the top and bottom by 99. And this is going to be, um, I'm going to have 990 down here. 101 times 99 is going to be 9999. No way. That's 9999. <laughs> plus 35. Well, if we add this to this, we're going to get 10,034. So this is equal to, let's finish this up. Okay, we're going to make this our last line. This is going to be equal to 10,034 over 990. If we divide this by 2, divide this by 2, this would be 5, Zero one seven five zero one seven over this is four this is nine five and this is the fraction 
that when divided, use your calculator, it's going to give you this decimal that never ends. I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.